Treasurer Curtis Pitt's announcement in Parliament today didn't get the reaction he hoped. Today I can confirm that the government is considering a range of options, including repatriating a portion of the large surplus in the Q-Super Defined Benefits Scheme in accordance with advice from the State Actuary. The opposition gave a scathing assessment of the government's latest source of funding. They promised Queenslanders that they could deliver services. They said they could do it without adopting our plan and now we find that they had pulled the wool over Queenslanders' eyes. There are also concerns government spending will continue to increase but not match up with revenue. Premier Palaszczuk says the $30 billion fund with close to 50,000 public servants superannuation is in a very strong financial position. Unions say they've been guaranteed the money will be paid back, but they're putting the government on notice. Any attempts to attack, to attack our members' accumulation funds or any attempts to walk away from the government's guarantee in relation to the fine benefit scheme will be strenuously opposed by our union. If the government does dip into the superannuation fund, public servants will then have a choice. Either take their money and run, or trust Premier Palaszczuk. Toby Crockford, QUT News.